Today is Sunday. I teach pole class tomorrow. So literally all morning, I have spent my time doing yoga and choreographing. If you hear noise in the back, I'm at my aunt's house. So you'll hear her two-year-old Malia. We call her Bean. <laughs> so I'm about to get back into it. I'm about to let y'all see behind the scenes of me refining the choreo and practicing because now I need to practice with my heels on. I always choreograph barefoot. And then my first time doing it with heels is at the pole studio. And then I realized I probably should have practiced with the heels before because it'd be like little transitions that are a lot easier to do without heels. I want to be able to execute everything very precisely tomorrow because I'm really proud of this choreo. I feel like it's my best one. So the song choice is I'm geeking. How do you like it? But don't buy you jewelry. I call him Poppy. I'm fucking him fluently. Feel like a virgin, but this shit ain't new to me. We going rounds like he fucking on two of me. Uh, he wanted three some. He said we need unity. He go to jail and that dick is me. So without heels, I really came up. I fuck him or it's don't buy you jewelry. I call him Poppy. I'm fucking him fluently. And then there's the beat goes dun, dun, dun. so then it'll be dun, dun, and then slide but you see it don't work in these big shoes so somehow we need to end up already here and i think it's gonna be the hair flips so then it's like our first we i call him poppy i'm fucking him fluently you know how do we get up uh, uh. How do he like you but don't buy you jewelry? I call him Poppy. I'm fucking him fluently. Doom, doom, doom. I need a wider stance. Doom, doom, doom. Boom. How do you like you but don't buy you jewelry? I call him Poppy, I'm fucking him fluently. Feel like a virgin, but this shit ain't new to me. We going rounds like he fucking on two of me. Uh. Okay, I think that was better. I ain't gonna lie, I love to see my stomach when I dance. I feel like seeing myself helps me create the shapes. I like his tongue in my what, Trying to hold on to me like a grudge. We fought the G6 again in the fuck. Baby, don't judge me, I'm being a slut. I love that dick when it's deep in my guts. He wanna be the rep with that on blood. Uh, how do he like you but don't buy you jewelry? I call him Poppy, I'm fucking him fluently. Feel like a virgin, but this shit ain't new to me. We going rounds like he fucking on two of me. He wanted three, so he said we need unity. He go to jail and I think it's so the way that I teach in class, like I sync movements to the breath, but I'm keep being off because I'm thinking about it instead of being present. So I'm gonna turn the music down and count the breaths out loud. Yes. I love that dick when it's deep in oh, my guts. Yes. He wanna be the rep with that on blue. Yes. I'm gonna be a tail. How do you happening? Something's happening inside of my shoe. <laughs> I'm gonna do it without them. One time. Don't blow. How do he like you but don't buy you jewelry? I call him Poppy, I'm fucking him fluently. Feel like a virgin, but this shit ain't new to me. We going rounds like he fucking on two of me. Uh. He wanted three, so he said we need unity. He go to jail and that dick is a me. I saw you fuck me like you never lied. I said that dick till I throw up and cry. You know it's cap when I play like I'm shy. I want your phone to sleep in my thighs. I'm acting bad when I brush the glass. He game. I'm no longer insecure about my feet, so I don't give a fuck, but... I need to go get my toes done. That's literally why I had to wear these shoes at work. But honestly, I don't like dancing in these shoes. They give me like go-go boots. 
like, I don't know. They're so big and clunky with the dancing. I like his tongue in my what, 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 what? He trying to hold on to me like a crush. We fought the G6, he in the fuck. Baby, don't judge me, I'm being a slut. I love that dick when it's deep in my guts. He want to be the red book that I'm blood. How do he like you but don't buy you jewelry? I call him poppy, I'm fucking him fluently. Feel like a virgin, but this shit ain't new to me. We going rounds like he fucking on two of me. Uh. He wanted threesome, he said we need unity. He go to jail and that dick is immediate. I saw you fuck me like you never lied. I said that dick till I throw up and cry. <sighs> okay, Michaela. This your shit. So perform it like it's your shit. I love performing for myself. I look good. I feel even better. I like his tongue in my what, 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 what. He tryna hold on to me like a crush. We fought the G6, he ain't in the fuck. Baby, don't judge me, I'm being a slut. I love that dick when it's deep in my guts. He wanna be the red book that I'm blood. How do he like you but don't buy you jewelry? I call him poppy, I'm fucking him fluently. Feel like a virgin, but this shit ain't new to me. We going rounds like he fucking on two of me. Uh. He wanted threesome, he said we need unity. He go to jail and that dick is immediate. I saw you fuck me like you never lied. I said that dick till I throw up and cry. You know it's cap when I play like I'm shy. I want you falling asleep in my thighs. I'm acting bad when that pressure's applied. He getting mad when he see me outside. I ain't gonna lie. I make a nigga come swallow this pussy and swallow his pride. Uh. All right, all right, all right. Now, I need to practice how I'm going to teach it. Welcome to my tutorial. <laughs> so, I really do want to get into making virtual tutorials. So, this is literally my first time trying to make one really the energy of all of my choreos is very playful very flirty but very like dominant feminine energy take control of the room take control of the space and perform like you're too good for the room because you are so we're gonna start with our legs together and our back arched and we will go I like his tongue on mine. So me personally, the freestyle I add for this transition is a head roll. But you can do whatever feels comfortable. It can be a, you know. So I like his tongue on my wop, 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 wop. Your clothes a little bit further, a little bit further. Give it to him. <laughs> and to add the character there, I like to bite my lip. I like to look down at what I'm touching and really just entice with that part, have fun. He liked to hold on to me like a grudge and then complete the circle around. So we're going around to the left, finishing the circle around. Thank you. After you complete the circle, you'll hit and boom. Boom. If you want to do it faster, just whatever fills the space. Depending on your breath and how you sync these movements with that breath will determine on if you are going to have time to baby don't judge me or if this is your baby don't judge me. It's really up to you and whatever feels the most comfortable and natural with your breath. But we will meet here for sluts, but not facing this way, facing this way. So we're like turning away and we are going to kick our right leg up to the booty as we go down. Baby, don't judge me, I'm being a slut. She's gonna say yes, your yes. Bring this left leg down. Turn your head, slide this right arm towards your face, and beat. We're lifting to wrap, boom, and then there's another, ah. Uh. 
So really try to be very mindful of posture because if not, you'll be here and that just doesn't look as good as it'll look here. So imagine a string is pulling your chest as you open. You're leading with your heart. We'll start at the beginning without music. I like his tongue on my wop, 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 wop. He like to hold on to me like a grudge. Boom, boom, boom. Baby, don't judge me, I'm being a slut. Yes. Hair flip, back, beat, beat, boom. Uh. <laughs> now I want to help you sink it to your breath. So I'm going to tell you what my breaths are feeling like. This beginning first move is my inhale. So I'm, and by the time we get to the wops, it's exhale, 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 exhale. Another inhale, exhale. <laughs> Breathing at my natural pace. Breathing at my natural pace. Boom. My wig is in the way, girl. Flip. Inhale. I'm still inhaling because that wasn't enough inhale. So I'm taking a deep inhale until I'm here to exhale. And if you pay attention to my hand, as I'm, uh, I'm touching and giving a little playful finger action. If you don't feel comfortable doing that, you can uh, and let your head follow your legs. Only if your hand is going to touch. Wherever your hand is going, that's where our eyes are going to follow. Then from there, bringing this left leg, bending it. Huh? He said he loves you, but don't buy you jewelry. Like, don't talk to me. Be sure to breathe. Your breath is your soulmate. I believe I told y'all that when we're going down after this natural pace, let that be an inhale. Inhale, I think it's like four. Inhale, yes, is when you can begin your exhale. Trying to hold on to me like a grudge We fought the G6 again in the fuck Baby, don't judge me, I'm being a slut I love that dick when it's deep in my guts He wanna be the rep, put that on blood uh, How do he like you but don't buy you jewelry? I call him Jewelry We're gonna take this right hand to open on I call him Poppy And we are going to be coming up if you have big heels like me, um, that won't allow you to smoothly be able to transition on this next move that I'm gonna show you, stay here. If you're doing it barefoot, feel free to come all the way up and we're gonna do three taps. I fuck him fluently and then we're our own extra beat after that so that we have time to catch the instruments on the dun, dun, dun. So me, I'm gonna stay down because after our three, it's hair, hair, slide down. So you see how my foot, literally I have some space to bring it around in between. I call him Poppy, I'm fucking him fluently. Doom, since my leg is gonna be down, I'm gonna like lean and be really dramatic with the doom, 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 bounce. This right arm is gonna be on my head. After I bounce, I'm slowly breaking it down. Uh, so you see I gave him a uh, what? Right hand come behind and we're gonna do a very wide around. <laughs> Breathe normal because you need to be able to actually tune into the music, not so much of your body so that you can give the personality sass that it needs. I call him Poppy. I'm fucking him fluently. Doom, doom, doom. Huh? You see how my eyes follow down? Like, huh? And then it's like, oh, you was looking? What? <laughs> huh? What? This is when we're gonna inhale. Exhale. And there's so much space 
for you to freestyle that transition. So I'm gonna show you some different variations. Here, boom, 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 boom. Mm -hmm. Hands up, let it follow, follow. You can give them a round, boom, whatever feels good. You like to fuck me like you never lie. It's either you or he, one or the two. He never fuck me like he never lie. We're gonna take this right leg and use your arm strength to lift up, to create space, to come into the split. And your right hand is going to come up to your throat because she says she sucks something, 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 something. So. Boom, hand will come to the booty. We'll go up on her, uh, slowly down, uh, slowly down. Boom, boom, boom. Bring your hip down simultaneously. Bring that left leg in as you're closing your right leg to come here, up here, nice arch. So let's run that back from here, huh, what, inhale, exhale as you freestyle to meet me here, boom, 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 arm strength, neck, uh, uh, boom, 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 we're closing, I make this come swallow this, come swallow his pride and what about it so actually i think after i get out of my split i'm gonna come here boom give him some sexy because the nigga coming he walking <laughs> come swallow his pride uh -huh. have fun with it but let that last line be like yeah and leave some some bounce. How do you feel? I feel good. Let us start from the top. This one, you don't have to go full out. We're gonna do it one way through just to make sure that you feel the breaths and then we'll perform on the next one. He tryna hold on to me like a grudge. We fought the G60 green in the fuck. Baby, don't judge me, I'm being a slug. I love that dick when it's deep in my guts. He wanna be the rep, put that on blood. Uh, how do he like you, but don't buy you jewelry? I call him poppy, I'm fucking him fluently. Feel like a virgin, but this shit ain't new to me. We going rounds like he fucking on two of me. He wanted threesome, he said we need unity He go to jail and that dick is some I saw you fuck me like you never lied I said that dick till I throw up and cry You know it's cap when I play like I'm shy I want you falling asleep in my thighs I'm acting bad when that pressure's applied He getting mad when he see me outside I ain't gonna lie I make a nigga come swallow this pussy Then swallow his pride uh. Just in case you aren't catching it I'm sure you do But after the last uh And we come back down That's when we're back with that melodic beat so it's da, da, da. so in your split you're bouncing da, da, da. then we go into the closing it is okay to find pleasure in your touch and really just like unlock the meditative state i feel like where it can come in is once we get to this like release and free out any energy you need Feel, I like his tongue in my what, 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 what. He tryna hold on to me like a grudge We fought the G60 green in the fuck Baby, don't judge me, I'm being a slug I love that dick when it's deep in my guts He wanna be the rep, put that on blood how do he like you but don't buy you jewelry? I call him poppy, I'm fucking him fluently. Feel like a virgin, but this shit ain't new to me. We going rounds like he fucking on two of me. Uh. 
He want a threesome, he said we need unity He go to jail and that dick is some unity I saw you fuck me like you never lied I took that dick till I throw up and cry You know it's cap when I play like I'm shy I want you falling to sleep in my thighs I'm acting bad when that pressure's applied He getting mad when he see me outside I ain't gonna lie I make a nigga come swallow this pussy Then swallow his pride Uh I'm on a whole nother level, I'm geeky You think you fucking with me, boy, you tweaking Ready for work, I just need me a reason I'm getting buckets in regular season Honestly wondering when I'ma lose it Come get your wifey, she with it, she choosing Maybe I be driving this stuff, I be cruising <laughs>
wife and she with it, she choosing. They let me driving this, so I be cruising. classes to teach today i teach at 6 p.m and 9 15 p.m i just completed my 6 p.m class and i'm about to ride with one of the girls her name is trouble to mr everything y'all mr everything is so good usually i take honey pots class at 8 15 but i'm gonna just sit down today it's one of our studio rooms we have a bathroom with a shower look at my outfit today isn't it so cute these have like the slits all the way down the leg. Two more bathrooms. Another studio room. There's a class going on in there right now. Inventory. <laughs> Miss everything. It's in the bag. <laughs> <laughs> this is the nine o'clock class. We're about to record. I got my new mattress. I hope she's comfy. I like this. Oh my gosh. I'm in my room. Like my room, room. This is crazy. I'm about to be at my mom's house for about four months. Four months max. I have somebody currently subleasing my loft. So I'm going to be back in my loft in the summer. But for four months, I'm about to stack all of my stripper money to invest it into my space because I have a beautiful business idea that God has given to me and I'm gonna see that shit through like this is literally just a sacrifice I feel like the past five years I have made continuous sacrifices but the why wasn't always wholehearted it's my first day back I'm excited to make the best out of it I feel like what's making me feel very self-assured in my decision is being happy like this shit feel like justice if i'm being fucking honest like my mom and my stepdad have done so much for me and they have really welcomed me back like bitch i'm about to be in my car like today like they paid for my last ticket so i had a warrant for my license being suspended um they've paid for the ticket it was 850 dollars they paid to get my fucking car insurance 
my tag registered, my car registered. Like, they are genuinely helping me and taking care of me. And I feel like literally since I left here from being kicked out, long story short with that, if you don't know, I got kicked out. Now, as an adult, I can take accountability. <laughs> but back then, I felt like I got kicked out. But basically, um, when I was 18, I auditioned for LA Fashion Week. And I didn't tell anybody until I got accepted to walk. And my mom didn't agree with that. She was scared and protective over me going. And she told me not to go. And I told her, bitch, I'm going to go. Like, this is once in a lifetime opportunity. And she told me if I go, I can't come back because I was being disobedient. So I decided to leave. And I went to L.A. and I sent her my pictures. We didn't talk for like some months until L.A. Fashion Week because I ended up leaving early because I'm like, I know I'm going to go. So I might as well leave now. So when I sent her my pictures, she was just like, there's nothing holding you back now. And ever since then, that's genuinely been my mindset. Like there's nothing holding me back. So I'm very impulsive, but... To me, it's just like I believe in myself and I bet on myself every single fucking time. Ever since then, I have not been here. I came here and stayed for like a week or two during COVID. That didn't go well because me and my mama had gotten into it one day. And I just left and then I ended up going back to Savannah to my apartment. So if you've been here since 2020, you know exactly what apartment I'm talking about. I'm talking about that studio apartment girl that was ugly as fuck. That version of me is receiving justice. That version of me did not want to be here. Like I was very depressed, very suicidal. I didn't like myself. I wasn't accepting of myself. There were so many things I couldn't forgive myself for, especially after I left. And so now I'm getting to meet her and be like, look, bitch, like you did it. I am exactly who I thought I was going to be when I was a little ass kid up until 18. Like I'm exactly who I thought I was going to be. So to come back and to be myself and be accepted by my family as me. What can I say, bitch? Saturn don't play about me. What I think is really cool about my room is that it's on ground level. <laughs> so, like, my window is right here, bitch. I got floor to ceiling windows, and what about it? <laughs> my room right now is painted, like, a gray color. On this wall, I used to have black and white stripes, and then the rest of my room, I think it was white. It was either white or yellow. I know at one point I had yellow walls, but my mama told me she don't care what I do in this room, so... I'm going to paint it back white because I want to brighten it up. And then I'm going to have my friend AV come do graffiti on this main wall, how it is in my loft. I'm going to keep this big ass TV in here, but I want it mounted. I don't want it on this shit that my stepdad got it on. And then that mini fridge I'm going to keep in here because I don't eat like them people, baby. I'm pescatarian. Here's all of my things. Right now, I'm about to switch hats. I stole this hat from Nandy today. Cause her sister stole my slides. So I was like, honey, we can do a little exchange. Y'all already know my grits hat. Thank you so much, Isis, for sending me this. But this is all of my clothes. I got my sewing machine. My bathroom stuff is in that suitcase. And then those are my bathroom racks. And so like I said, somebody is subleasing. Subleasing, but kind of roommate type of situation at my loft. So I kept most of my stuff there, like literally everything there besides my necessities. I'm going to go and get a few of my skull heads, of course, because I was going to bring my altar stuff and set it up here. But I think I'm just going to do a cute little corner altar like I used to have in my room when I stayed in my first loft. So I'll attach the video. It'll be it'll pop up at the top, but you can tour, see the tour of my first loft. Once my roommate moved back to her hometown, I downsized to my studio um, and stayed at the same place that I live. So in that first loft in my room, I had my own personal altar and then me and her shared an altar together. I think I'm going to set that up here instead of bringing like that big white thing and setting my altar and how at my current space, I have above my altar the wall of like my vision board stuff. I'm going to put that back up. Like, I'm literally just about to be in here creating. My mom was like, oh, you're not going to be here anyway. And I'm like, actually, yes, I am. Like, I'm about to lock myself in my room. When I think about myself and my target audience, my target audience is 
the girls who literally lock themselves in their room and create their own world because that's exactly who I was. So I'm just about to return home to that bitch. Like I'm about to be homebody as fuck. I already done told my friends, bitch, I'm fasting. Silence fasting, don't talk to me. And this is the hallway, how you like come downstairs to my room. And I was thinking that this wall, I wanted to hang pictures like big frames because like that's a vision that i saw in my first loft that i didn't get to do so i feel like it would be fun to do it here just to like see and then when i go back to my loft take it and already have it and put it up there Upstairs, so it's deep. It's small but deep. But I don't know what the fuck I'm gonna do with this one rack. I might have to like get some of these, or I can get a dresser. I feel like a dresser would be cute. A dresser could be cute under the TV. Like have the TV mounted and then the dresser under it. It is gonna have to be a very specific type of dresser. I see no visions in this bitch yet, so I don't know. I really don't even know if I really want my bed right here because this little area could be like a nook area and then the bed could be over there. I remember like the only, I can remember my room down here being two ways. One time, I know my bed was over there by the window when I was like 12 because I had a lot of pictures from that time. And then my last time, like when I was 17 in high school, my bed was over here. And I believe the bed used to be against this wall with the TV at, but I don't like that. Like I need to be able to walk in and be clear. So I don't really know. My mama just called me and asked if I had sheets and I do not because we ended up deciding to toss my sheet, my mattress, my bedding, my mom was literally like, you need to burn this shit. And I was like, you know what? I'm with all of that. Like, we love clearing some energy. So, they got me that new mattress. And now I'm on the way to meet her at Walmart to look and see if there's a comforter that I like. I'm not going to force it, though. Just because I need one does not mean I'm going to get the first thing that I see. I'm going to get what I want. So, if there's not anything here that I want, then I'm just not going to get anything. I'll just get the sheets and stuff. When it comes to me, like, doing my interior design, I use my senses. So, I think about in my space, like, literally, what do I want to see? What do I want to feel? What do I want to touch? What do I want to smell? I already knew they weren't gonna have it and I like mm. but I was thinking I told myself that I was gonna make me a duvet comforter because I really want to get into sewing interior design I used to have my clothing brand called pretty boy teak I let that shit all the way down and I have rebranded to sculpture and I don't want sculpture to just be clothing I feel like fashion can be in your home too and when I think about what made me even so interested in sewing and fashion it's all for my granny. And my granny specialized in interior design. She made couch covers, she made beautiful drape curtains, stuff like that. So I wanna pull from her as, as my inspiration and as my muse. My first project, what the fuck? My water leaking, but why? I would like for it to be a duvet comforter for myself. And I got this like black and white fur that I got from um, LA and fashion district that I want to use. I just found my old cheer bag in here and there's a whole competition cheerleading book that was me and my sister. Look at me. Not our jumps wasn't together. This was the worst day ever. Hmm? <laughs> I said this was the worst day ever. Why, you want more cheese? No, it's not about that. It's what happened before that and then y'all still made me go. What happened before that? <laughs> Oh, me and Destiny was arguing, and then y'all took my phone, and that's when my phone was taken for nine months. 
Yeah, I was probably saying stuff you ain't got no business. Yeah, I was cussing. <laughs> the craziest thing just happened. I'm sitting here, and my mom was like, oh, you know your clarinet is right here. And I'm like, what? Like, bitch, my who? It's right where? <laughs> it was right here. Literally, my clarinet has been waiting for me to come home. I have been talking about so much. I want to play the clarinet again. I want to play the clarinet again. I'm about to play the clarinet again, bitch. <laughs> what are you talking about? Here she is. What shall we name her? Because I didn't name her ever. What's your name? So your first three fingers play this, and then your pinkies play all four of these, and then your first finger can play these. Pinky plays these three. I don't remember the notes, but I know that if I like look it up, I'll learn fast. I feel like it'll be like a muscle memory type of thing. Because I used to be first chair in band. Unless Alex had been practicing at home that week when we had chair placements. And then he got first chair and I got second for breath control. And can y'all believe one fucking day, the band teacher, me and him didn't get along. You know band teachers be assholes anyways. So my band teacher, we just wasn't, we never saw eye to eye. Especially once I got a nose piercing and he thought I was going to take it out for band, bitch. Fuck you. He moved me all the way to last chair one day. I was like, bitch, why would you put me in the back with the people that don't know how to play? I'm so happy to have my clarinet. But literally, look at how dusty this is. <laughs> like, it's been waiting for me since 20 fucking 17. We're about to unbox my fragrance. This is literally my go-to perfume. I love her so much. It's Alien Goddess, the original one. They have a new one. So I just had to return and exchange it because my mama had got it for me for Christmas. But she got their new one and it's like a floral one. So I just took it back. It was a $35 difference. But I had to get this because I plan to go back to the club this week and I am out. Oh, this one already came put together. Sometimes when you get it, you have to like put the lid on. But this is what it looks like. It's so pretty and it smells so lovely. But yeah, I'm about to audition at some clubs. Hopefully tomorrow night, depending on what I end up doing to my hair. I ain't gonna lie, I really want a silk purse. I just want it to be like something easy and my silk purses be lasting me the whole month but your fragrance is very important as a dancer people are gonna remember your scent you know how you go to somebody's house and you're like oh it smells like your house like you know what people's stuff smells like it's the same concept just in a more seductive way <laughs> and if possible invest in a real perfume the little victoria's secret sprays they're not really gonna do the job um, at the club because you got to think there's people who be smoking like if you work at an urban club people can smoke weed in there at the white clubs like when I worked at Savannah the bitches would smoke cigarettes in there so I would leave and myself smell like cigarettes so you need a perfume that's great quality that will actually last throughout the night because if you get them little Victoria's Secret perfumes you're going to be having to go to the locker room consistently to maintain the scent your perfume can be a conversation starter literally so like, oh you smell so good what is that now we're talking about it. Now I can ask the customer, um, what type of scents does he like? What does he wear? You know, like stuff like that. It's easy to pique interest that way. I'm about to head to the pole studio. I have a private session to teach. I'm excited for what I'm about to teach her. I typed like an outline of how I want her class to be. So yeah, that's where we're about to go. I'm about to get something like really quick to eat on the way there. And then after I'm going out to eat with a friend, so I'm about to get something like literally like fast food type of food. Good morning, beautiful people. I do have a hair appointment today and I'm so excited. I'm getting a silk press because I just couldn't do this. <laughs> I really couldn't. I told y'all yesterday that I want to go get hired at clubs today. I have a private session possibly at 1230. My hair appointment is at 230. And then from there, I'm going to go. I went to Stroke Fest a couple of weeks ago and they told me they weren't hiring for night shift because it was too many girls, but I can come back mid shift from 4 p.m. to 12. So that'll probably be where I go first because my hair appointment should probably take around an hour and a half because I got to get washed, blow dried, pressed. I feel like there I'll get hired on the spot. But just in case, I feel like I need to go get a wax. We're going to go get a wax. I don't know if I'm going to do the wax before my hair appointment or after. I think I'm going to do before in Rome. I have had an annoying 
irritating morning because I'm having to handle like all my legal shit right now. Like it literally makes me want to cry. Like I just hate the police. I hate authorities in general. Like it gives me the biggest fucking ache. I feel like I'm violating my moral code. Like <laughs> I literally was about to cry because I had to transfer phones trying to figure out who the fuck I need to go to, who I need to pay. Like, we're about to get in the shower and release all of that and just move along with the day. Maintenance day. I just got done with my wax. She did really good, she was really cool with me. And <laughs> she asked me how did I find out about this place because it's my first time here. And I was like, my sister comes here. She's like, who's your sister? And I told her, and she was so shocked. She's like, you and your sister are the complete opposite. I would have never thought Amanda's sisters would have face tats. <laughs> I would rate it, I was gonna say four and a half stars, but really, if I'm being completely honest, I would say five stars. This was the least painful wax I have ever had. She was very gentle and she took her time. She didn't do like big ass chunks how most places do when they be trying to like speed wax. That's why I don't like European. Like they be trying to speed wax and don't end up like really being precise. The half a point was gonna be just because it's not like completely bald. Um, but she tried to get them and she plucked. <laughs> it's $50 and then I'm going to tip her. So I know I said I was gonna go to club today, but honestly, y'all, it's so hot. It's so much traffic that the answer was just, hell no. If it's not a hell yes, it's a hell no. And it was not giving hell yes. You wanna know why? First thing, I already knew this earlier, but for my private session, I didn't know if she was gonna really come or not because this morning communication was a bit delayed she ended up confirming but by the time she confirmed that she is available for 12 30 i had to leave like right then and there or i was gonna be late i had like five minutes to spare so i rushed to get dressed and just put on something really simple to throw on to go to the studio and i was like mm, if i do go to the club i'm gonna have to go to the mall to get like a simple fitted dress or something with traffic like it was gonna be too much after i got my hair done to go all the way to the mall then try to come all the way back so that was that i don't know what happened because before my stepdad took my car to fix it my air worked but now when i cut on air it blows out hot and then if i put it on heat it only blows out of one vent and blows out of the vent closest to me these other two in the front don't work i don't know about the other one so i don't know what the fuck is going on but it's, it was way too hot for me to be riding around sweating on the way to the club i'm sorry and traffic was so bad it was gonna take me an hour and 45 minutes to get to my mama's house i wasn't in the mood hi may i have a medium ice cream cone with sprinkles and like extra sprinkles That'll be all. So yeah, I stopped to get me a little treat. I'm getting ice cream with sprinkles because today two people have poured love into me. And I just feel like, bitch, you're right. I deserve a treat. My friend Deja told me that I need to look in the mirror and tell myself how good I'm doing and how different I am. And just like, I had prayed for her. I sent her prayer over text and she was just 
sending me so much love and admiring the way that I pray. And I feel like that's amazing because I remember two years ago, I really felt like I didn't know how to pray because I was judging myself for how I was showing up and feeling like I couldn't, you know, talk to God. When whole time, baby, I just needed to talk to myself. You know what I'm saying? And then Mariah, my cousin, told me this was so random. She was just like, I was thinking of like people that I feel like are unstoppable and you're somebody that I put in that category. And I was just thinking like, with the shit that's really going on in my life right now, me, some years ago, like what's happening in my life right now would have been the end of the world. And I would have let myself fall into it, but I always have been the person that'll pick myself back up. But like now my emotions have priorities and I just been standing on that shit and moving and we also was laughing about the fact that I've been on go because I was telling her like I haven't really got a chance to settle in Tuesday was my only day of stillness for real when y'all seen I was at my mom's getting everything settled I've been there like sleeping there but I haven't been able to unpack my clothes are still in trash bags like I need to really not procrastinate settling in so, so I was telling her she was like yeah I've noticed that you've been moving around a lot and I'm like it's not to avoid anything or procrastinate. It's genuinely because I've been booked like at the post video. And she was like, God took it literal when you said you'll dance your heart out. And I have a post on my Instagram, I'll put it on here, where I was just like talking about how all God wants from me is a broken heart. And I'll dance my heart out, I'll cry my heart out. Like I'll do whatever for my heart. And so the way that I've been pouring into my heart lately is through dance. And I'm just really thankful and really blessed to be where I am right now, where I know that I can feel my emotions in my body. Like, genuinely, this shit is more than just stripping to me. I'm not going to lie. It used to just be stripping, for real. But now it is really, like, a whole healing experience. Like, it's alchemy work, for real. And so, yeah, I've been able to feel my emotions in my body. I locate them really well. I know what emotions it is. I know what emotions are stored in certain parts of my body and all I gotta do is move, stretch, and breathe that shit out. I have not had time to intellectualize my emotions. It hasn't been a priority for me. Like, honestly, my mind only has the capacity right now for like my ideas. I have so many creative ideas flowing to me. Thank you. And I'm seeing that all I need to do is to create some space. There was people and certain things in my life that was just taken up too much capacity oh on march 19th it's national free cone day <laughs> anybody who know me know if i'm sad mad anything just take me to get ice cream with sprinkles i'm gonna be shitting because i don't eat dairy <laughs> so we'll see how this goes I'ma throw it at you 
can you catch it? Don't hold back, you know I like it rough. Oh, I'm feeling you, huh? Know you're liking it, huh? So why are you standing over there with your clothes on? Want you to feel it now? I got a secret that I wanna show you. Oh, I got a secret, so I'ma drop into the floor. Ooh, I know crazy. Yes. 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 Just love TJ Maxx for comforter, but I didn't like what they had. Like, it's no point in paying eighty dollars for something that's not what I want. So I said I'm gonna come here, but my mama just bet me that I'm not gonna find one. So we're gonna find one. <laughs> I don't know, it's looking a little skimp in the area. I'm so used to like Ross and TJ Maxx in Atlanta that I be forgetting I'm in Rome. Girl, they got five mattress, not five mattress. They got five cups. Good morning, happy rising, rich rising, rise and shine. <laughs> rise and shine is my favorite. I've always been a rise and shine type of girl. What day is it? Saturday. I'm going to end this vlog here. I decided yesterday to not go try to get higher in the clubs because I've been dancing for five years and in my five years of dancing, I have learned that the best days to go audition or inquire at a club is Monday through Thursday, really Monday through Wednesday. But some clubs, like if you call them, they tell you they do auditions on Thursdays as well. Um, and even some clubs don't do them on Monday, like Chia, for example, their auditions are Tuesday through Thursday. So I didn't want to waste my time trying to go get hired. And the reason being that they do that is because the weekend is busy. Like, they don't let new girls work on the weekends. And then at permit clubs, you can't even go get your permit for that club on the weekend because the permit office isn't open. So there was really no point. Um, I did have a private session Friday. She wants me to do another one on Sunday. I'm just trying to decide if that's what I really want to do. I'm trying to listen to my body. And also, I have not been enjoying driving far. The Pole Studio is an hour and 30 minutes from my mama's house versus it being 13 minutes from 
my house. So yeah, it just hasn't been feeling great to keep driving back and forth. If I had something else to do in Atlanta on Sunday, I would, but I don't. So we'll see about that one. I want to thank you so, so much if you've watched to this point. I am on the go to 200K. So if you're not subscribed, please do. You would love it here. Please do like this video. It helps me entirely. It helps me be pushed into the algorithm. And y'all know I haven't posted in literally seven months. So I need the help, all the help that I can get. And please leave a comment if this video sparked some new thoughts, sparked some anything, some inspiration. I would love to hear about it. I would love to read it. I would love to have a conversation with you in the comment section. So yeah. And I'll be back again with another fucking video. You already know.